All right, just going to do a video showing you a testimony of another ex-New IFB member, because uh, I myself used to be part of the New IFB. I left back in March of 2019. Uh, and here's another, I'm going to show you a testimony of another ex-New IFB member who is actually describing uh, a lot of the bitterness and wrath that comes out of the New IFB when you go against their leader, Stephen Anderson. He describes how they're having, he's having sermons preached against him. They, they're threatening his wife and everything else. Just watch what the guy says in his testimony. And... This is just an example of the kind of fruit that comes out of the new IFB, the kind of wickedness and, and malice and hate towards anybody who criticizes Stephen Anderson or breaks away from the new IFB. That's how we know the new IFB is a cult. That simple. So watch this testimony. I think the guy is, um, he used to be a pastor in the new IFB, uh, but he left and now became independent. Because the new IFB, they're not really independent. They follow Stephen Anderson. And what Stephen Anderson says, it goes. And they won't dare have a speaker in their church that, that Stephen Anderson doesn't approve of. That simple. So they're not really independent. They're just arms of Anderson's cult. But watch this this little testimony video he gives. Hey everybody, it's Pastor Fred's All Scripture Baptist Church in Knoxville, Tennessee. I just wanted to make a, a quick video, uh, kind of a response to a video that was made by Pastor Stephen Anderson yesterday, where he references me. He doesn't mention me, and he references a sermon that I preached uh, this past Sunday night. It's called "Leave the Other Undone," and it's about people that. They go soul winning, but that's about all they do. They'll uh, use that sort of as a crutch, and, and they don't take care of other things in their life. Uh, so I was trying to admonish them to kind of take a look at all of their life and, and get things right with God, uh, you know, then go out soul winning. And uh, again, uh, that was the purpose of that sermon, and, you know, it was for my people here. Uh, it wasn't to the Internet. So uh, anyway... Uh, one thing that he makes mention of a lot in this uh, video is he, he references the, the new IFB. And uh, I'll just say this really quick because I want just want to make this video brief. Uh, I'm, I don't want to be a part of the new IFB. I'm not a part of the new IFB. And what I specifically mean by that is I don't want to have anything, any affiliation with Steven Anderson, Roger Jimenez, Bruce Mejia, Aaron Thompson, Jonathan Shelley, None of those individuals do I want to have anything, any affiliation, any association with any of those individuals. So uh, I, I, I don't like their spirit. Uh, I, I don't like the fact that they uh, attack men of God. I don't like the fact that they call saved men uh, unsaved and reprobates. And I just I don't like uh, uh, the spirit of arrogance that they have. I think that they're very arrogant. I think they're very prideful. And unfortunately, a lot of times, pride, when pride comes in your life, they, you know, you're the last one to know. So I don't know what the source of their pride is. I don't know uh, what the source of their problem is. But, you know, I, I've listened to uh, Stephen Anderson since 2009. And there is an obvious difference between, uh, you know, the, the preaching that I heard then and, and what goes on now. But, you know, a lot of people, get they get online they make memes they they trash each other uh you know they talk to each other very terribly and you know i may mention that they're some of the most venomous people uh, and obviously we're not talking about them compared to murderers we're talking about them as christians you know that they don't exhibit good christian character and you know the bible uh, talks about uh you know that my eyes will be on the faithful of the land you know we need to have good positive influences in our life we shouldn't uh, uh, I don't want to, to be around people that have a bad spirit. And I think these individuals, these guys, I think they have bad spirits. Uh, I think they have bad attitudes. And I don't want that affecting me at all. And uh, so uh, I don't want to have anything to do with them. You know, he talks about, you know, uh, me pretending to be their friends or whatever. I'm not their friend. Don't want to be their friend. Don't want any association, any affiliation with them at all. Uh, so... Uh, anyway, you know, I mean, you have men that have preached against me. Jonathan Shelley preached against my wife, said that her hands need to be cut off. Aaron Thompson, Roger Menez got up behind the pulpit, lied about me, lied about my family, gossiped about me, gossiped about my family. Bruce Mejia has preached against me. Shelley's preached against me. So why would I want to be uh, anywhere near these guys? I don't want to be w with 100,000 miles from these guys. I don't want to have anything to do with them. Uh, at all. So uh, let me just rip the band aid off. You know, I mean, if that removes the new IFB label on me, then so be it. But I don't want to have anything to do with them. I'm not their friend, uh, and, and there's no affiliation between me and them. 
I'd like to just forget their names and they forget my names and we'll just see one another in heaven and we'll, we'll wave at each other whenever we get to heaven. So, but anyway, uh, there's, you know, so much more that I could say, but again, uh, there, there's no point in it, you know, because they're just going to dissect it and twist your words and turn everything back on you or whatever. Bottom line is I have no interest. I don't care what they say. Uh, they're, they're very nasty people. And, you know, whatever they say about me, who cares? Uh, it's not going to be a continual response. It's water off a duck's back. Uh, I'm going to still go on and serve the Lord. So God bless you guys. Have a good day. Interesting. A lot of the behavior he described in that video that the new IFB cult members are basically treating him as, that they're, that they're espousing towards him is actually described in the Word of God. Let me turn to the scriptures. Third John chapter 1, oops, verse 9 to 11. I wrote unto the church, but Diotrephes, who loveth to have the preeminence among them, receiveth us not. Wherefore, if I come, I will remember his deeds, which he doeth, prating against us with malicious words, kind of like they're doing to that, the new IP people are doing to that guy, uh, and not content therewith, neither doth he himself receive the brethren, and forbiddeth them that would, and casteth them out of the church. Beloved, follow not that which is evil, but that which is good. He that doeth good is of God, but he that doeth evil hath not seen God. Okay. Notice that other that part of the verse too, uh, cast cast them out of the church. There have been examples in New IFB where people are cast out for contradicting Stephen Anderson. You know, you have the whole situation with Adam Fanon where he's fired and Stephen Anderson basically chooses the pastor for a steadfast Baptist church, even though he, he's not the pastor there. So he walks in and chooses it for them. I thought they're supposed to be independent Baptist churches. He walks into the steadfast Baptist church and says, okay, Jonathan Shelley will be your Jonathan Shelley will be your past your pastor basically. And someone asked at one point, hey, can we vote on it? And it's like, no, this is how it's going to be, because they're not independent. They're just arms of Anderson's cult. Uh, it's that simple. The new IP is a cult, and they prayed against anyone who goes against them with malicious words. You know, like this talks about in Third John chapter one verse nine to eleven. They that passage right there describes the new IFB, Stephen Anderson's new IFB cult. So I wanted to show you guys that. Don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.